Well, top of the morning to you. If it isn't good old St. Patty's Day 2020. Well, I know it's not morning everywhere in the world, but it is somewhere, somewhere in the world. It is morning, so top of it to you, lads and lassies. So it is me, the sun shower rose, and I want to bid you a most marvelous St. Patty's Day. Well, the likes of me actually does have the Irish blood flowing through my veins. As it says right here, this is me mother's maiden name Tartan, called the McAllister. Mm -hmm. So there, I'm one quarter Irish. Not everyone can say that, you know. Well, I thought I'd tell you about the other things I'm honoring here. This is, this is a gift some time ago from my own daughter. And that's her picture there, Shannon O'Rose. And this, this is the cutest thing that I haven't done a thing with in years and years. And it's my wings uh, that were um, awarded me, yes, when I, when I flew up, as it were, from brownies to girl guides. Well, that would be in Canada, you know. We don't have Girl Scouts in Canada. And let's see, uh, this little token is uh, regarding the last place that my father, God rest his soul, uh, worked. And I, I have it now, I like it on my tam. As well as this wonderful bumber suit, you know, bumber suit, umbrella, bumber, Umbrella, shoot, parachute, <laughs> bumper shoot. So I'm also of the bumper shoot clan. This was given to me after my own grandmother, maternal grandmother passed, you know. And the feather, well, it's just a feather. What can I say? So I thought I'd give you a little entertainment on this day of the Irish. And um, as long as I'm doing the brogue, and I won't be stopping that for some months now, you know. <laughs> Once I get rolling, you can't really stop me. So I'm going to tell you about Biddy Murphy. Have you heard of her? Well, if you haven't, you're going to now. And I'm, I'm going to do it for you. It's a fairly long story, but not too long, so we'll bore you to tears. Okay. So Biddy Murphy had been ailing for some time now, and her husband, Tam, was getting pretty concerned, you know, and, and he said to her one day, you know, Mary, you're really getting kind of peaked looking. I think we should go off to the doctor. And she goes, you know, Tom, I don't go to any doctors. I'm not the likes of them. Hmm, no thanks. But, but really, you're getting worse, and, and well, really, I insist, she's like, fine then but you're going with me so they made the appointment they went to the doctors took a while to get there took a while to get in he's sitting out in the waiting room now waiting for her and finally she comes out and she's got this very sullen look on her face and he goes oh Mary what what is it and she goes I'll tell you in the buggy and so they get in the, the car you know <clears throat> and they're driving along and she says nary a word and they get home, and, and he's like, Mary, Mary, what is it, what is it, what is it, it must be pretty serious. She goes, well, it might be, you know, it might be. Well, what is it? She goes, well, the doctor, the doctor, he wants a specimen. Tom goes, well, no, Mary, not a specimen, no, no, uh, Mary, what is a specimen? And she goes, oh, you're so foolhardy. I thought you'd know that. You don't know what a specimen is. No, I don't. Well, what am I going to do then? He wants one. Well, maybe you should call the doctor's office and talk to one of the RNs. No, I'm, I'm too embarrassed. I know the term. It's, it's, it's on the tip of my tongue. But I can't think of it. Well, I can't either. You better call the doctor's office back. No, no, I'm not going to do that. Oh, he goes, I have an idea. He goes, go talk with Biddy Murphy. You know, she was an RN for years and years. 
Mary McGillicuddy looks at Tom and says, Tom, you know we've been feuding for years and years. There's not a chance, not a chance in the world I would go to see the likes of her. He goes, well, I insist. And she's like, fine. And she offed hmm. over the hill and into the dale over the other hill. It was quite a trek. And so it's quite a while before she returns. In fact, it's getting a little late. It's getting kind of towards dusk, you know. Oh, there she comes over the last hill, yeah, towards our home. Oh dear, it looks like maybe she's got a torn shirt and oh, her hair's all bedraggled. And he goes, oh no, she's got a black eye. And so here she comes, kind of dragging her feet. And he goes, Mary, what happened? And she goes, well, I did exactly what you said, Tom. I went to the door of Biddy Murphy, knocked on the door. She comes and she looks at me, kind of, you know, the way she does. And she goes, what would the likes of you want, Mary McGillcuddy? And I told her exactly what, what we had on, on our minds. And she told me to go piss in a bottle. And I told her to go poop in her hat and the fight was on. I hope you enjoyed it. It's such a cool thing for this day, don't you think? Well, I'm going to bid you adieu for now. Bye for now, then. <laughs>